also Launch Complex 39B at uh, NASA, the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. We uh, have been involved in that project for a very long time. It's under uh, RECRA, but that's implemented through the Florida Department of Environmental Protection. And prior to my being on the team, we had done some site assessment work. And then when I joined, we refined that work and then we developed a conceptual site model to look at where the impacts were. And there are some unique features of the facility in that it was it's in a national wildlife refuge and it's built up and it's surrounded by wetlands. So one important element of this was mitigating any discharge of impacted groundwater to the surrounding wetlands. And through that process, we developed a conceptual site model. We performed a remedial alternative evaluation to look at several different alternatives. What would be the best? What areas do we really need to treat? What are the treatment timeframes if you address different areas? And then we selected air sparging. We did the design for that and implementation. We provided oversight of the installation of an air sparge system, which at the time it was constructed was the largest air sparge system in the Southeast United States to address basically chlorinated volatile chemical impacts in the groundwater. Um, we operated and optimized the system and we achieved the corrective action objectives in approximately two years. And we mitigated the discharge of that uh, impacted groundwater to the surrounding wetlands. We won the uh, National Groundwater Association 2020 Award for the Best Remediation Project.